All right, I just pulled up at the medical office or the. Jesus, the cops are already here. Right, I'm doing well. How are you? Can I have you park uh, elsewhere, sir? I can't have you park on this property here. Any, any particular reason? This is private property, sir. You're not here for a reason. Your reason oh, is only to protest and all that, but you have no reason to be so here. So y'all know it's coming? Okay, so you please leave. Yeah, okay. I will. I'll park. Uh, wh where's the best place do you could I park? You. I'm going to take you where to park at, but you just can't park here. All right, well, hey, parental alienation is a crime. Hope y'all know that. Yeah. Okay, well, it's private property. I respect that. Cool. I gotta find some public parking. I wonder if Blaine is in one of these rooms. Blaine, if you see me, I love you, son. Nick's Health Behavioral Health Center. Oh, look, free pregnancy test kits. Ooh, better put on my seatbelt. Don't want to get a ticket. So everything's private, public, or private property except for the street. And if I park in the street, I assume I'll get popped again. Well, maybe the Valero will be cool with it. I'll just park over here. See what they say. There's a good spot. Right on the highway. Not blocking any entrance or exit. Cool. I didn't, I didn't even mean to start the Facebook Live thing. I'm early. I wouldn't anticipate the cops already knowing I was going to be there. Hang on, I got to put y'all down for just a second. I got to get a water. Okay, kids, I'm back. We're here at the Nick's Hospital. I've got my obnoxiously big truck. Makes for a fine, obnoxiously big billboard. Parental alienation is a crime. There is an actual victim. Howdy. My son needs his dad, not cops, cuffs, and medication. Do what? They kicked you out for what? I think I saw you in there. The not or not when when my son was in there, they forced you in there. Yeah, they said that I was being detained. Blah blah blah. They had to be in here, and then they fucking help me kick the fuck out. Oh, so you're seeking help? Oh man, well, by the way, you are being recorded if you don't mind. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm here for my son. I think I saw you whenever Blaine was brought in there. Yeah, yeah, that was his mother. She called the cops on him when I drove, I literally drove from Odessa 375 miles away, two days early, dropped everything. I was physically present, and the cops still think that medication and handcuffs. Um, so you're seeking help? You're trying to get in there? Where are you from? Bernie. You're trying to get to Bernie? I don't have anywhere to go there. I don't have anywhere to go here. What's in uh, what's, what's in what's in Bernie? My parents. Your parents are in Bernie? Well, I'll tell you what. Um I've got a I'm gonna be here for a couple hours if you wanna hang around. I can or shit. Hang on. I can at least give you 20 bucks. Hang on. Sorry. 
I, if that'll help, um, brother, I'm sorry for your for your situation. So, is the cops that kicked you out, or the the owners of the? Yeah, the owners of the hospital. No. Oh, they who brought you here? Oh, your parents brought you here. Get your. Own? Well, what's your name? William. I'm Caleb Leverett. Good to meet you. I'm sorry to hear your struggles, man. Uh, well, you're welcome to hang out here, and we're just—I'm just, just going to walk around and raise hell. Hey, you need some water? Hang on, I, I, I just bought a case. Sir? Uh... Well, actually, I don't. Let me let me let me open the. It doesn't tell me on the phone when I'm recording. Uh, it's almost ten, I'm sure. Where the hell's a man? It's it's close. It's it's almost ten. Do what? Yeah, it's ten o'clock in the morning. I don't suppose you were able to ever see my son again while you're in there, did you? I saw him. I know he brought him in. Okay. This is my 13-year-old son, Blaine's current address, against his will. And I'm not even saying this place is a bad place. I really don't know anything about it. But for the people that are just joining, I'm here in San Antonio trying to get my son. I picked him up two days ago. He was about a three quarters of a mile or so from his mother's house. He was, it was 8.30 at night. He was sweating. He was dehydrated. And I got him something to eat. We ate at a real nice Mexican food restaurant. And his mother demanded that I bring him back, which I was going to anyways, because I was trying to talk to her. He'd, he'd been arrested last week, the day after school was out. Oh yeah, by the way, for the principal who called me and suspended my son on the last day of school for being on his phone. Okay, here's the backstory to that. Blaine got suspended on the last day of school. Yes, he shouldn't have been on his phone. I get it. I, I, I talked to him about that and he knows it. But he refused to give it up. And his principal called me and said, your son is going to be suspended if he doesn't give up his phone. I said, well, the whole reason I sent him to y'all a couple of months ago it was after Jason May, his stepdad, body slammed him because he wouldn't give up his phone. 
because his phone is the only link he's got to his dad who gives a shit about him. And I told him, I said, you're not gonna teach that boy a damn thing by taking away his phone. He realizes, he knows what the rules are, he broke the rules, fine. But you're not gonna, he's not gonna, you're not gonna teach him anything by taking away his phone. So they took away his phone, his mother takes away his phone. Now the cops are taking away his phone. It just seems like there's a pattern here. I keep showing up saying I will take my son in a loving environment, free from medication, street drugs, and handcuffs. But no, the system says it's much better for cops to put my son in handcuffs, yank him away from me, and that's what society says is good. That is a sign of a very, very sick society. Howdy. How are you? This really started off way faster and I didn't have the rest of my signs made up. I'm just gonna walk over here and finish making a sign or two. Poor William, he's trying to get in there and they kick him out. I'm trying to get my son out and they hold him in. But do what? No, I've I've had to go do lawyer stuff. Regretfully, I had to go do lawyer stuff. But I just announced on my social media that I was going to be out here at 10 o'clock just to raise awareness. Of, are you familiar with the term parental alienation? Parental alienation is usually when parents split and one parent tries to act in front of the kids as if the other parent never even existed, never cared. They don't let them have their phones. They don't give them their phone call. There's no, they, they avoid the communication. And so the kid grows up thinking, oh, dad was an asshole. Oh, mom was never there. And in fact, they, the mom or dad, it happens both ways. It's usually the dad that is the alienated parent, but it, it does happen with mothers too. I got to make up some signs, brother. So far, Valero hadn't seemed to mind me doing this. Hi, kids. It's Notorious Dad here. Y'all get to sit here and make, if y'all are gonna watch, you get to watch me make signs. Every good activist needs one of these. A big, loud, obnoxious mouth. And Big shiny paper. It's that simple. Okay, here we go. All right, son. Needs. idea not cops cops 
and meds. Cops, cubs, and meds is what you do to bad guys. There we go. Notorious Dad. Ta da! There we go. Go hold up a sign. Like the hippies we are. Let me guess to my critics. I just need to go get a job, don't I? All right, y'all don't get to look at me anymore. Oh, here. There's the sign. Team Parker. Team Blaine. Parker 2.0, all the way. Howdy. What is this? What's that? Uh, this, this, what is it? Parental alienation? Yeah. You've never heard that term? No, sir. And by the way, I'm on Facebook Live. If you're, I hope you're okay with that. Yes. Yeah, All right, fine. cool. Parental alienation is when two parents, loving parents, get divorced and hate each other, and one parent tries to pretend to the kids that the other parent doesn't exist. Uh, and so the parent, that child grows up thinking, well, dad didn't give a crap. Mom didn't give a crap. And they have daddy issues. They have mama issues when they grow up. Yeah. And I'm... My sons and I are victims of parental alienation. I've been fighting it for 10 years. My son, Blaine, is currently residing in that hospital against his will. This fellow over here, well, he's gone now, William. He's actually trying to get help in there, and they kicked him out. But my son, Blaine, is, was, he was, his mother called the police on him uh, the day after school was out and had him arrested for holding a joint, one of God's plants. Yeah. We're, and... Are you familiar with Genesis 129 in the Christian religion? Yes, sir. Are you? Yeah. That God made all plants and all yeah. plants are good? Yeah. Well, I wish that people would make up their mind. Either the plants are good or the plants aren't good. I don't know which it is, but he had a plant, one of God's plants, and now he's in there. He's being held for either 48 hours or 72 hours. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I've been told both. Yeah. Uh, tonight at 6 o'clock p.m. is my regular visitation. I'm from Odessa. I live 375 miles away. Yeah. I came here two days early because he called me after he'd gotten out of jail and told me. And so I overnighted him some money, yeah. 200 bucks or something. The cops took that too. And then they arrested him again. He's been arrested three times in five days. And he's not even created a victim. They said, according to the cops, when he's arrested in his own house, when I was standing literally in the front door. Yeah that he made a statement that he's so frustrated he could burn the house down or something something like that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, thank you, though. Um, I do appreciate it, though. Have a good day. Just know to look up Prince of Alienation. Alienation. It's a crime, a true crime. There is an actual victim. Have a good day. But anyway, he was arrested and I said hey I'm here I'm, I drove here I shut down two days early to come be with my son to get him to yeah. save my son so society says that that no that's not good a loving father in a loving environment is not good they say putting handcuffs yeah. on a 13 year old and taking him against his will into what society could say a nut house is, is that's better well yeah, I, I guess that sign is part of that hospital. I, re, I don't know. But you know, it's it's really just it's really just a way to uh, uh, demasculate young young men, and it's just taking them away from their fathers. That's really what it boils down to. Yeah. They they want the next generation to be weak. They want the next generation to just be around women. Um, as far as young men go, man, they don't want them to be strong. Because they know that if the young men are strong, if they grow up to be strong, they will rebel and they'll they'll fight back. And that's that's the spirit that young men need. It's the spirit that young, right. young boys need, man. And they need their father to impute that into them. And that 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 system, man, it's just corrupt. It's completely anti God. Was, was, was your father involved in your life? Not at all. Really? No, no. But wow. you see, the, the thing. Well, my father passed away when I was only six months. Ah, uh, okay, the thing okay. Was though my my mother, man, she. She, uh, she she didn't bathe me the way the way many young men are. Nice. You know what I mean? Nice. She was like if I was afraid of something, she pushed me to overcome the fear. She didn't she didn't shelter me. She didn't pamper me to make sure I was comfortable or safe. And I think that's that's where we're we're at right now in a in a society in this generation that we're 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 
so we're so cautious of what our children are doing, you know, and we want to protect them so much. And then when they get out to the real world, they're so frightened they can't even stand up for anything that's true. They can't stand up for anything that's righteous. Right. But I think this is amazing what you're doing, man. And and and, and uh, would, would it be all right? My name is Joey, by the way. Joey Caleb Leverett. Caleb Leverett. Would it be all right, sir, if I would just pray with you, man, just stand in God's favor with you? Um, right I'm no longer religious, but that doesn't, it doesn't, that's fine. I don't, okay, cool. I mean, I, I, people tell me they give me prayers all the time. I think it's great. All right. Yeah. I mean, just, just really quick, guys. All right. Just quick. Sure. Prayer. Sure. Go ahead. All right. You said Caleb? Caleb. Yes. All right. Father, I thank you for Caleb right now, Lord. God, I ask for your favor over him and his son, Holy Spirit. And God, I pray um, for your justice to prevail, Father, through, through this issue that's going on right now. We speak against this parental alienation, Father. Lord, we ask that that um, that Caleb, Father, you would be granted the right, the right as as an American citizen, as a human being, to care for his son the way uh, a father is supposed to. God, I thank you for this man's heart. I thank you for the fight and the courage that he has within him. Lord, in Jesus' name, Amen. Thanks, brother. Hey, yes, thanks, thanks for stopping by. No Enjoyed it. Who was that? I mean, that was cool. Let's see, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn y'all around. Oh my god, it's Amber! Amber, dear friend! <laughs> it, it is so wonderful to si finally meet you in person. Oh. How are you? Sadly, I can visualize the first I'm a How are you? Let me see your Tesla. That is sweet. Oh, yeah? Well, it was the weirdest thing. It, just as soon as I pulled up, Did the you? cops already knew I was coming, and they were. Follow you on Facebook? I guess, or somebody does. Well, I've been stalked pretty much my whole ten years of being divorced. But no, I, I wouldn't even plan on starting my Facebook Live until cops showed up, and they they knew I was coming, so they came and kicked me out. Oh, you were over here. Yeah, I was parked. Because I drove through there, and I was like, oh, maybe they'll get mad. Well, I'm hoping the Valero doesn't get too pissed. They hadn't said anything so far, but yeah, they said it was private property and they were just ever so lovely as usual. So, what, like, is it wrong about to see him? I don't, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I assume they call her updates and stuff? I think so, yeah. I don't. I haven't got not one single update. This is where I was whenever. Well, no, I was in. I was in front of the the house when he when he was arrested. I wasn't watching live. I watched the recorded. So okay. I was trying to gather. Well, I followed him up here. Tell you where he was going, and then said that you wouldn't be able to see him. Right. Well, I made it. The other cop that was working security, he didn't know what was going on, so he was cool. So I made it through security, took my, my pocket knife. He said, I'm gonna have to hold on to this. Like, that's cool. So I made it through and then over here, there was a door like 20 feet away and I saw Blaine's feet, his long legs. And they, this lady, this real pretentious lady come out and said, he, she, he, she, he's, he has to leave. She, uh, she doesn't want him here. I said, yeah, I said, she didn't get to make all the choices. I'm the dad. No, it's not your visitation time. You have to leave. And I just shouted to him, Blaine, I love you. and. You don't have to answer the questions if you don't want to. Why is he here? Well, he was originally rest, arrested for weed. And then after I took him there, trying to convince his mother to let him stay with me because he's obviously he's got some frustration issues. They, I wasn't allowed to be in there. The cops claim, and I think they all just bullied him. The cops claim that he said that he was frustrated enough he could burn the house down. 
And so that's what they said made him a threat to himself and to others. And he has to come here in handcuffs. This was the day of the broken base, remember? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, did you get all moved in? No. No? Thank you. Well, I'm just going to go pace up and down the, the sidewalk. No, I, I, can't, I can be on the sidewalk, but I parked on that very end when I first got here. And they said, I understand you're protesting, but you have to leave. It's private property. And they're like, eh, okay, I get that. Fair enough. actually really relatively cooled off right now you just wait you got here another two weeks it's going to be just unbearable oh this is cool this is cool yeah this is extremely cool i've had perpetual butt crack sweat since i've been here <laughs> just wait it gets it's not as humid as maryland though. It's not as humid. really yeah huh. not at all Did y'all get an apartment? House. Got a house? Yeah. It's basically on base. Oh my god, I'm not used to all that uh, America's shit. You hear like the national anthem every day at 5.30, taps at night. I'm like, oh my god, get me out. <laughs> I can't do this. Military people living everywhere. I'm like, oh my god. I'm not going to be able to shit without salute and flag. <laughs> oh, Mia Ma, are you in for a surprise? I think there's like... Yeah four or five military bases here. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I'm married in the middle, but he ain't like that. That's why I'm still, like, it's still a bunch of shock for me because he's like, I hate drones. I hate Trump. <laughs> you know, like, I hate all that stuff. Well, he did work for the NSA, so. Oh, wow. He's just not what you'd expect in the... It's so weird. I'm assuming that my son is in one of those windows. Well, I mean, he's here. I, I, it's just weird to know that I... That he can probably see. You think that, he, like, he's just in a... You know, yeah. I, well, yeah, he is. I, he's in one of them. I just don't know which Every one. Days. Well, the, the cop said 72 hours, which would be tomorrow at 1030 would be his release. But some people... I've done some research, and some friends of mine said, no, it's only 48 hours. So I don't know. I may get him tonight at 1030 or... And, or I may get him tomorrow night at 10.30. Will you get him, though? Yeah, uh, uh, starting at 6 o'clock p.m. It's today, time. it's my okay. time. Yeah. It's literally Parker 2.0. Well, I'm gonna stop the live feed. I gotta. I'll I'll fire this back up later, especially if there's any more cops or anything. Everybody out there in Facebook land, hey, peace, thanks. I know how to stop the damn thing.